Hello friends, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're part of the family, welcome back. For today's video, I originally just got the 11 Pro iPhone, so I'm totally trying to try or test try the video to see how good it is. I usually obviously obviously have my camera, my, uh, my Canon, um, but I'm literally gonna try something new today and I was like, hey, why not just film it and see how it comes out? So if you're watching this, it came out really good. Um, for today, I'm going to try for the first time using my Ninja Blender, which I got for my birthday. Um, and I'm gonna do a squash, a butternut squash soup. I've done it before, but not using this recipe and not using my blender. So I wanna go ahead and try it today. Uh, my kids are not a big fan of butternut squash soup, especially my daughter. Last time I made it, she was like gagging as she was eating it. Um, but I loved it and my husband loves it. So that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna cook for us for lunch today. And then for my kids, I'll do like mac and cheese or something. Anyways, so if you're interested to see how this actually comes out, hopefully it comes out good. Again, if you're watching this, then I guess it came out edible because I'm showing it to you. <laughs> um, keep on watching. All right, so I just preheated my oven. It is at uh, 400 degrees. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna cut off both ends, okay? Is that better? Because now you can actually see the squash. <gasps> All right, so here we go. We're gonna put these off to the side. And then now we gotta cut right through the middle. Hopefully I don't cut my fingers off. Just pray. <laughs> wow, look how beautiful that is. Okay, one down, this little one to go. This should be a piece of cake right here. Wow, that was totally not in the middle. Look at that. All right, well, we're gonna go with it. All right, so next thing that we're gonna do is, wow, it's really sticky. We're gonna go ahead and scoop out all the seeds from inside, okay? My kids are homeschooling in the back. So if you hear them, yeah, you got you all should know that. Whenever I'm filming, any one of my kids could be in the background and you can hear them, so. That should be like in the description of this video, of this channel. So here we go. This is what they look like. Next is we're gonna get some avocado oil or olive oil, whatever you have. Um, and we're going to um, coat them nice and evenly all the way in the top, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just pour some on the top and then you're gonna see that with our fingers, we're gonna go ahead and spread it out to make sure they are evenly coated, okay? Just like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Sprinkle some, I have some, sim some pink salt here. And then we're gonna add some pepper. All right, so now these, these guys, let me show you here. All right, so now these guys are gonna go into the oven for 30 minutes. Got it? Three, zero, 30 minutes. All right, so before they go into the oven, we're gonna go ahead and flip them so that this side over here, the open side is to the bottom, okay? All right, well that's in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and get one onion, okay? 
white yellow onion I'm going to cut it cut the ends and we're going to cut this baby in half because after the 30 minutes are done with the butternut squash this this guy is going to go in there um, as well we're going to roast this onion as well so just cut it right in half and we're going to leave it right in here to pour into or to place into our tray after 30 minutes are up all right guys so it's been 30 minutes it's still sizzling and it's halfway done we're not done yet so we're going to go ahead and get our um onions and we're going to put them right here on top somewhere put them somewhere we're gonna drizzle some avocado oil just like we did the squash and then we're gonna flip them and they're gonna stay on there for the remaining 30 minutes, okay? All right guys, so um, the squash and the onion, um, they're done. The squash has been, um, it was in the oven for a total of one hour and the onion was in there for only 30 minutes. So when it's done, this is what it should look like, very caramelized. It smells delicious. Even Nathan's like, it smells so good. Okay, so I just flipped them over and over here we have our onions as well. What we're gonna do is that, you can wait um, for it to cool a little bit, but Oscar's on his way home and he is hungry. So I'm gonna do my best to do this hot. We're gonna go ahead and um, scoop out the flesh. It should come um, out just easily like this. And we're gonna put it right into our blender. I have my Ninja here um, that I just got. I'm trying it out. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and do this and put all of it inside our blender. All right, so here I've already taken out uh, all the meat from um, the squash and it's right here in my blender. I'm gonna go ahead and get the onions too. I took out the first layer and we're gonna go ahead and look at that. That's so yummy. Go ahead and put it in here. It's nice and soft, so. And then the remaining as well right over here. And now we're gonna put our uh, remaining ingredients and I'm gonna walk you through those. All right guys, so here we go. This is what it looks like. We're gonna take it out. I have to take this because if not, it's gonna fall on my plate. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pour it. And then what you could do is just add some cilantro or parsley for garnish. And there we go. All right, so let's do a taste test. I didn't even try it at all. I just threw all those ingredients in there. And there it is. Mmm, yummy. I love how we added the maple syrup, but it doesn't taste like 
pancakes. You know what I'm saying? Like it just gives it a little bit, uh, a hint of sweetness and the salt. Um, yeah, it gives it a very earthy, yummy taste. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys tried this recipe, if you guys have tried it before. Um, it is a long process because obviously the squash has to be in the oven for an hour. We usually eat lunch around 1231 and it's almost two. So I should have counted for all that time, but I didn't. <laughs> it's all good. Um, we're probably going to have it now with some toast or some bread um, on the side. And it's filling, it's yummy, it's healthy, and we're doing it from scratch. So again, it's very, very healthy for you. All right, guys, stay tuned for a few messages from myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Here we go. It's really, really yummy. What do you think, honey? It's really good. Yeah, and you're, you, and he doesn't even love soups. Do you love soups? No, these type of, I mean, creamy soups. That's the type of soups I like. So this one is really good. Yay! So here it is. We're having some toast, some bread. Of course, he's putting some cheese on it. You can put some cheese. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really does mean the world to me that you guys take the time to watch his videos. I really appreciate it, so thank you, thank you very much. I have a few messages to share with you guys. They are not long at all, I promise. So number one, I accept prayer requests. Um, me and my family have a list that we pray for every single day. So if you want us to add you and your prayer requests to our list, just go ahead and message me. Either leave a comment below or contact me through any of the social uh, media platforms that I have and we will go ahead and add you to our prayer list. Number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I post a lot more content there than I do here, obviously, on YouTube. I post pictures of my kids, recipes, and such. So if you are on there, go ahead and follow me. And number three, if you are not already part of this family, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You can hit the subscription button below and the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. We have so much fun here in this channel. I share with you guys recipes, I do Bible studies, I do makeup reviews, I do vlogs, I do videos with my kids. So if you wanna go ahead and join our family, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, that's about it. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.